Holy Ghost. Lord, we're about to step into a different year. But you're going to be the same God. Your years have no end. You're the same. Psalms 102, 27. You said in Malachi 3 and 6, I am the Lord and I change not. Therefore, your sons of Jacob are not consumed. Lord God, you said because you've not changed, we, your children, would not be consumed. God, I prophesy as we step into this new year, may this be a memorial word like last year was. May this last word on this last Sunday of 2015, Lord God, may this be a memorial message in our spirit throughout this coming year 16. If you're coming, tarries that long. Lord Jesus, to know that 2016, Lord Jesus, that you will bring us to the end of valleys, that Lord God, you will save our children, that God, you will preserve and protect us, and that God, just that simple word, you will be the same. That there will be nothing that arises this coming year. It may take us by surprise, but not you. Help us to recall to our mind we have hope. Limitation 3, 21. Help us to recall to our mind this memorial message on this last day of 2015 or the last Sunday of 2015. Help us to remember this word throughout every season of 2016 that though this is a different year, you will still be the same God. There won't be a sickness that happens this year coming that you won't be able to heal. There won't be an obstacle financially that you can't be able to meet. You are the same. There's not a thing we'll deal with with our kids. There's not anything that'll come up, Lord God, that'll change who you are. Help us to keep our faith in that same God. Hallelujah. Because the years don't change you, Lord. Hallelujah. Your dominion, your kingdom endures throughout all generations. Psalms 145 and verse 13. You said in 2 Peter chapter 1 and 23, Lord God, that we have been born again, not of an incorruptible seed. Hallelujah. Of a corruptible seed. But Lord God, we have been born again even by the Word of God that endures forever. You said in Isaiah 40 verses 8, the grass withereth and the flower fades, but the Word of our God shall stand forever. God, you said your Word endures throughout all generations. Hallelujah. Your word does, Lord. Your word won't lose power. Your, Lord, your word won't lose the glory. Your word won't lose the effects that it's always had. Help us to keep our faith in your enduring, everlasting word. Your word, Lord God, won't change, but it'll change us if we believe it. Hallelujah. Help us, Lord God, to hold on to your word that endures forever throughout all generations. You're not a man that you should lie. You're not the son of man that you should repent. If you said it, you'll do it. If you speak it, you said you'll make it good. Numbers 23 and verses 19. To God be the glory. Take that next song track I have. I'm going to invite you today to follow the Holy Ghost concerning this altar service. Let Him lead you. It's the next one I had in line. Whatever it is. Yeah, turn that on up. Hallelujah. 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 Daniel 7 and 22 calls him the Ancient of Days. You are not a God created by human hands. You are not a God dependent on any mortal man. You are not a God in need of Anything we can give by your plan, that's just the way it is. You're not a God created by human hands. You're not a God dependent on any mortal man. You're not a God in need of Anything we can give by your plan, that's just the way it is. You are God alone from before time began. You are on your throne. You are God alone right now. In the
king. You're the only God whose name is praise will never end. You're the only God who's worthy of everything we can give. You are God. That's just the way it is. Yes, it is. You are God alone. From before time began, you are That's who you are. Luke 133, even in the Christmas message that the angel gave to Mary, she, he said to her about Jesus, he will rule forever over the house of Jacob and of his kingdom. There shall be no evil. Only thing that can stop God is unbelief. Amen. And then he'll raise up a believer so he can continue on to do what he said he'd do. <coughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Brother Young, I need you to stand right here. Just pause that. We'll sing that last song in a moment. Hallelujah. This morning I had a dream. In the dream, it's like I was asleep. I, was, I mean, I was like I was asleep. But in the dream, it's like you walked in my room, and I woke up, and I looked at you, and I said, uh, Well, young, what are you doing here? You, you didn't say nothing for a moment. You know, and you just kind of walked around. And, uh, and you said something about, Well, I'll, I'll, whenever I see you again, or something like that. Like. I said, no, you'll see me in just a few moments today in the dream. And uh, then I asked you where Sister Fonda was at in the dream. And in the dream, I began to just prophetically speak to you and to her. Hallelujah. But she weren't with you. And so when I saw you come up today, like you came up, and even she wasn't here, and I don't know for what reason, that ain't none of my business, but it was like, I remembered the part of the dream where I said, no, I'll see you in just a few moments today. And in the dream, I knew it was today. I knew it was today. Hallelujah. But in the dream, it's like was, you, you were heavy laden. It was like it was a load on you. Even a heaviness about even this ministry and the things that God wanted you to do. And it's almost like a discouragement had tried to come on you. Hallelujah. But the Lord let me know in the dream when I said, no, today, I'll be with you in just a few moments. The Lord was letting me know that weren't me talking. That was me prophesying. So that was God saying. That weren't Marvin saying, I'll be with you. That was the Lord saying, I will be with you. I'll meet you here today. 
So man of God, God wants to call you to his altar today to tell you that he says, I have met you here today. And God says, that that's been heavy. God said, I'm about to lift up all for you. Hallelujah. And God says, I want to encourage you that be confident what I began, I will conclude. I will bring it to its end, saith the Lord. I will finish what I started. And I have even heard at times when even your spouse in her walk has struggled and, and the enemy has come against her and she's begun to ask even questions. But God says, I will be her answer. I will give her the answer. I will encourage her as well, even this day. Hallelujah. So Lord God, I prophesy. Lord God, and I say you have met here today with your man. And Lord God, you remove off of him God, any infirmity, any sickness, and Lord, any weight concerning this ministry. For Lord, I believe there's things he totes inside of him that nobody knows about uh, even concerning this word but Holy Ghost I thank you today you not only affirm it but you confirm it and I prophesy to this man I prophesy to this house uh, that even this year coming if you permit it to, to arrive 2016 I prophesy there will be an end to a vow an end and let me tell you else what I saw. After I saw myself prophesying, not even knowing what I was saying, but now I do because it just came out. Of me. Then I looked and I said, wow. I saw more than one instrument and I saw people playing them. I saw a whole choir all the food. And they were singing, draw me close to you. Never let me go. I let all down again to hear you say that I'm your friend. <laughs> and they were singing that. Hallelujah. I'm not just talking about just any time. I'm talking about, man, they were eloquently playing. Gifted. I saw a different ministry. I believe that's what God was showing me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. God says, though you get tired, I'm not. Even though the vision looks like it sometimes becomes a nightmare and is wasting away, God says, I still got it. I still, the Lord says, I still remember the first moment I spoke it. I still remember the first day I birthed it. Though many have come through and gone, God says, don't think for a moment that I'm through bringing it. Hallelujah. God, I give you glory. I pray strength for this man in his house. I pray the strength of God on every person connected to it. In this room today and those that ain't even here for whatever reason that are connected. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And I just revealed what I saw. I dreamed it. I didn't go to bed asking God to let me dream that. Hallelujah. But that is exactly what God gave me this morning as I dreamed. Praise God. I remember you had your little hat on too. You had, you had one of those little hats on. But you wouldn't ever look up and you was just like he's walking back and forth. You weren't saying much in there. It was just like it was something heavy on you. Praise God. And, I, and the only thing you said to me, you said, well, I'll see you whenever. And I said, no, not whenever, today. And in the dream, it was like I was already awake and getting ready or whatever. And like, I'll, I'll be there today. I'm talking about today. But as I woke up, I was like, Lord, that weren't me talking. I was laying in the bed. That was you talking through me. You were letting him know. I'll be there today. Yes, amen. Same God that's been here today, be here next time. Yes. Hallelujah. Come this coming year, the same one has been here this year. He'll be here. Hallelujah. But I got news for you. Some of the same people that's been here may be still here, but there's some folks that ain't been here that this coming year will be here. Yes. I saw yes. some of them musicians. Oh, yes. Amen. 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 Praise God. I don't know what time it is, but I think I'm through. Unlike the Lord, I, I don't 
Preach for it.